Americans love trucks. Many Americans use trucks for work purposes. But today, I'm going to tell you why vans are better than trucks for your business or trade. As points of reference, we'll look at vans like the 2023 Ford Transit, the Ram Promaster, Mercedes-Benz Metris, and Nissan NV, and we'll pitch these against some of the most popular trucks sold in America. Let's start with towing. I'll say it straight out. If your business requires you to tow super heavy loads on a regular basis, I'm talking more than 10,000 pounds, they get a truck because a van has less capabilities when it comes to towing. Let me put it in perspective. The 2023 GMC Savannah Passenger has max conventional trailering of up to 9,600 pounds, and the 2023 Chevy Express van has max trailering weight up to 10,000 pounds. So consider that threshold. If you need to tow more than that, you'll have to cross over to the truck side, and probably will be best off buying a diesel truck. Now, the 2023 Sierra 1500 and Chevy Silverado 1500 can each tow up to 12,100 pounds. The 2023 Ram 1500 with the 5.7 Hemi V8 can tow up to 12,750 pounds. And the Ford F-150 can tow up to 14,000 pounds. But if your business trade requires you to tow even more than that, you can look at the beast trucks like the Ford F-Series Super Duty trucks. The F-450, for example, can tow 40,000 pounds without breaking a sweat. Same thing for payload. Basically, the payload capacity is how much weight your vehicle can carry, including passengers and cargo. If your business requires you to load and carry super heavy weight, more than 5,000 pounds, then a truck is a better option. As a point of reference, a Ford F-350 Super Duty has a max payload capacity of 8,000 pounds, for example. On the other hand, the 2023 Ford Transit and Ram Promaster 3500 offer some of the highest payloads among cargo vans. They can handle up to 5,100. 110 and 4,680 pounds respectively. But now, if you need cargo volume more than anything, it's time to consider a cargo van. It's no secret that trucks offer limited cargo space compared to cargo vans. To put it in perspective, the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 offers three bed lengths. Even if you opted for the largest one, which is eight feet long, you're getting just 89.1 cubic feet of cargo space. On the other hand, if you get a cargo van, take the 2023 Ram Promaster, for example, we're talking 520 cubic feet of cargo space. So you can see it's a significant difference. But it's not just more cargo volume we're talking about here. Cargo vans are enclosed. And that helps keep your cargo private and protected from the environment and thieves. Trucks, on the other hand, come with open beds. Yes, you could buy a tuna cover or truck cap to protect your cargo. But then you're adding additional weight to your vehicle. Plus, you have a lot more money. An average soft cover can cost 400 bucks, while hard covers and retractable covers can cost you over a thousand bucks. And truck caps range between 1,500 to six grand. And honestly, if you're gonna buy a cover or cap for your truck, you're pretty much one step closer to looking like a van anyway. So you might as well save yourself money and get a cargo van. But now, if passenger space is a top priority for your business needs, then a van might be the better option. A standard cargo van typically seats only two, but crew style vans usually seat five. And there are passenger vans which can take 14 or 15. Take, for example, the 2023 GMC Savannah Passenger and the Ford Transit Passenger Vans. Each can seat up to 15 passengers. On the other hand, trucks can't come in nearly as close. A regular cab has two doors and a single row seat. Typically, it seats two or three. An extended cab gives extra seating and it's accessible by folding the front doors forward. Some extended cabs offer back doors that are smaller and usually rear hinged. In other words, they open backwards like suicide doors. It can only be opened when the front door is open. Then there are the crew cabs. Basically, they have four standard doors that open to two full rows of seating. The crew cab is pretty much like a four-door sedan plus a bed. But at best, a crew cab truck can seat up to six people. Another advantage that cargo vans have over trucks is that they enable you to get more organized. You can customize a van by adding shelving or designated areas for different items. An organized van makes it a lot easier and faster to load and unload. On the other hand, pickup trucks aren't designed to help keep you organized. You just place things in the open bed and think you can move around while you're driving. Another benefit to a van, which you might not have thought about, is the outside of the van has more surface area. You can use that for your advantage. Think of it as a large open billboard to advertise your own business, which moves around Around wherever you go. Pretty much it's free advertising when you're on the road. The only cost of course is to create and place the ad on the van. That's a one-time fee, but you have no monthly ad fees for the life of the van. 
If you haven't already noticed, truck tire wheels are much larger than the wheels on a van. That's because trucks are more likely to be in heavy-duty off-roading situations. Larger wheels mean higher ground clearance for the truck's underbody. This, in turn, improves approach and departure angles and allows you to better protect mechanical components while driving through rough terrain. It's the same story for dirt and gravel. The more rubber that comes in contact with the ground, the more friction you can create. That translates to better braking on pavement and helps with towing capability. The size of a vehicle's wheels has a major impact on their price, and it's no different for trucks. In short, installing and replacing wheels on a truck is more expensive when compared to a van. Here's something not many people think about, safety. Vans are generally safer for pedestrians because of their short hoods and flat noses which make visibility better. You can almost liken them to driving a bus in a way. Trucks, on the one hand, sit higher and have hoods that are taller, wider, and longer. Imagine the damage they can do to a pedestrian. Also, most trucks have a body-on-frame construction, whereas many vans have a unibody one. The unibody design has inherent safety advantages over body-on-frame designs. For starters, a unibody van has a lower center of gravity, which means a lower risk of rolling over. Also, the crumple zones are engineered into unibody designs to better absorb impact upon collision. What would you rather have get crumpled, the body of the vehicle or your body? Gas mileage is another consideration if your job requires you to drive a lot. Many people know that trucks are typically gas guzzlers, but if you're on the road and you need to prioritize fuel economy, then some trucks are a better option than the best van. For reference points, the 2023 Ford Transit Connect wagon has a fuel economy of 24 miles a gallon in the city and 28 on the highway, but compared that to the gas-powered 2023 Ram 1500 with turbo diesel V6, which offers 22 miles in the city and 32 on the highway, or the 2023 Ford Maverick with hybrid powertrain, which offers 37 miles per gallon combined, or the 20. 23 Ford F-150 Lightning, which offers 78 MPGE in the city and 63 on the highway. Okay, now let's talk about image, style, and looks. There's no denying that trucks look much cooler and more powerful than a van. But a van can look more commercial, professional, and credible for a business. At the end of the day, what do you value when you as a consumer hire a tradesman or business? Professionalism and a job well done or coolness? Well, that's exactly what most consumers value too, when they're considering your business versus a competitor's business. Fleet, here's the thing. Not all businesses are the same, but honestly, for many businesses, vans are a more practical choice. But just just don't take my word for it, look at the number. But what I mean, look at the businesses that are successful and see how they optimize their business and reduce unnecessary costs. Fact remains, you rarely will see companies using full-size four-wheel drive trucks for their fleets. Look at successful giants like Amazon, for example, that uses vans and not trucks as their vehicles of choice. By the way, not many people know this, but EV maker Rivian produces electric vans for Amazon. These electric delivery vans, or EDVs for short, are designed to last 10 years or 330,000 miles before they need to be replaced. And they can travel up to 150 miles on a full charge. Because Amazon depots are being equipped with level two charging stations, so they're ready for deliveries the next day. Rivian customized the EDVs for Amazon's specific operation. For example, inside these EDVs, you'll find a bulk cat door that automatically closes if the driver locks the van's doors. The driver's seat is heated and ventilated, and the steering wheel is heated too. The seat can even be adjusted to a broader variety of seating positions than the Ram Promaster van that's also commonly used by Amazon drivers today. Rivian also made sure to design the cargo areas to perfectly hold the specialized bins that Amazon uses to hold the packages. In addition, trainees or delivery helpers get to ride on a surprisingly comfortable fold-down passenger seat. Because of the position of the seat, it makes it easy to hop in and out of the van for quick and easy package delivery. These seats even have a prime blue seat belt just like the driver's side. On top of that, the passenger has ample leg room and a cup holder that's designed into the molding at the base of the seat. Whenever the seat is not being used, the bottom flips up so the seat can be neatly stowed out of the way. At the end of the day, if you operate a business, you really need to prioritize what vehicle features are most relevant and critical for your trade. Then use the prioritized features list, filter out whether a van or truck is optimal for your business. In general, a van is the most cost-effective and overall better option in my opinion, but there are certain trades and specific purposes and applications for which a truck is better. If your trade requires a heavy-duty workhorse on a regular basis, then get a truck. But if your trade requires you to store and organize a lot of expensive tools, equipment, parts, or cargo, which you want to store and protect, then get a van and consider the free ad space on the van as a side bonus. If you need to transport a sizable crew to a job site, then consider a passenger van. 
The funny thing is, despite the facts and stats out there, this video likely won't change people's perceptions about trucks versus vans. Most Americans will continue to love trucks and perpetuate the misperception that trucks are more useful than vans for any business or trade. Because in the end, many humans just act on personal preference, despite what logic tells you. It's the proverbial want versus need. That said, recently pickup truck sales in the U.S. have been on a decline for the past few years. At their peak, pickup trucks controlled 12.2% of the overall American market. But after two years of declining sales since the second quarter of 2020, things aren't looking too good for pickup trucks. In the fourth quarter of 2022, pickup trucks made up only 7.5% of the overall American market. The light-duty full-size and half-ton pickup segments had shrunk to the smallest level since the third quarter of 2012 when it was at 7.4%. The downtrend is even worse for mid-sized trucks. They've taken some of the hardest hits. The Ford Ranger, for example, dropped nearly 42% earlier this year, while the Nissan Frontier plummeted at 63%. If you're wondering why truck sales are tanking, well, there's several factors. Some of it could be that trucks like the Ford Maverick and the all-new Nissan Frontier are cannibalizing some of the full-size truck sales. Also, a good chunk of developmental budget has been reallocated to favor EV trucks over conventional ones, and that's pushing new conventional model introductions even further out. Consider, too, how SUVs and crossovers have been taking over America and stealing some of the truck sales. But now you tell me, what do you prefer, vans or trucks and why? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.